Hi, welcome back to the PhotoshopTrainingChannel.com. I'm Mrs. Ramirez. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the PD3220U 4K 32-inch monitor by BenQ aimed at designers and creatives. I'm very excited to talk to you about what it can do and some of the most helpful features. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention that this is not a paid advertisement. BenQ did send me a monitor over for review, but I was not paid or instructed to say anything. Everything in this video is simply my opinion. All right, let's jump right into the review. The BenQ PD3220U is a professional grade monitor gear for creatives. This 32 inch 4K monitor is certified and validated by both Pantone and Kalman, which means that this monitor is all about accurate color representation. Although I'm using this monitor on a Windows machine, this is a Mac friendly monitor. You can connect it to your Mac device via Thunderbolt 3. Let's look at some of the monitor's key features. This monitor has impressive color spaces. It can reproduce 100% sRGB and 95% display P3. It also has HDR10 content support. You can probably tell by now that this monitor is all about color accuracy. BenQ guarantees that all colors will be accurate out of the box. All monitors are calibrated at the factory and you even get a calibration report inside the box for your specific monitor. You can of course calibrate the monitor to your needs and you probably should do so every so often so that you can maintain accurate color representation as time goes on. The viewing angles on this monitor are fantastic. I didn't notice any color shifts as I adjusted my monitor. The viewing angle is of 178 degrees, which is much better than what I had before in my old Dell monitor. To be fair, my old monitor was not a professional grade monitor like this one. So obviously there's gonna be a difference. The monitor is 32 inches at 4K and it feels massive. I first noticed that when I was in Photoshop and I did a technique that you might have seen me use before where I open the same document in two windows. I usually do that with my two monitors that I have here. I usually place one document in one window and the same document duplicated on another so that I can work with details on one side and with the overall image on the other. So I usually do that with two monitors, but with this monitor, I was able to do it with just the one monitor and it still worked great because of all the space that I have. And I was able to view the documents with no problems. By the way, if you want to know what I'm talking about, let me just jump into Photoshop and quickly show you how to open up the same document in two windows. What you want to do is go into the window menu and from here, arrange new document four, then select the document. Once you have the two tabs open, you can go into window, arrange to a vertical and Photoshop will place the two windows side by side. Then you can zoom into one window and zoom out the other. Any adjustments that you make in one window will automatically be applied to the other. Again, this helps you work on both details and the overall image at the same time, which is a huge time saver. This is one of the many advantages of having a lot of real estate in a 4K monitor. The objects in this monitor look very sharp. It comes with a 31 and a half inch panel with a 4K resolution at 3840 by 2160 with a pixel density of 140 PPI which is a great pixel density, especially for a monitor this size. Most monitors as large as this one don't really have that except for maybe the LG Ultrafine monitors. So the pixel density is a big plus for the PD3220U. The PD3220U supports virtually all color gamuts currently used by professionals. That's a feature that is usually reserved for high-end monitors with huge price tags. This monitor also has a built-in KVM switch or keyboard video mouse switch which allows you to run two computers with the same keyboard, mouse, and of course monitor. One way that you could use this feature is by connecting both your desktop and laptop to the same mouse, keyboard, and monitor, or a PC computer and a Mac computer controlled with the same keyboard and mouse. So it's a great feature that I think that a lot of designers will enjoy. Another great feature that designers will love is the dual view mode, which allows you to view two different color modes on the same monitor side by side, so you don't need a second monitor to see how your designs will look on different devices. When it comes to connections, the PD3220U has two Thunderbolt connectors for daisy chaining, which means that you can have two monitors that connect to each other and only one connects to your computer. One of the Thunderbolt 3 ports supports 85 watt power delivery, which will allow you to charge most 15 inch class notebooks, including a MacBook. I actually use this feature to charge my Google Pixel mobile device. It's a feature that I really enjoy using. The PD3220U also has a DisplayPort 1.4 connector and two HDMI 2.0 ports. 
There's also USB 3.1 ports, a USB type C port, and you also get a headphone jack as well. One cool feature that I haven't seen in too many monitors is the Hotkey Puck G2, which allows you to customize shortcuts to your preferred features. This dial enables you to easily adjust the brightness, contrast, and volume of the monitor. At first, I thought that the Puck was a little gimmicky, but the more that I use it, the more that I enjoy it. It's actually much easier to adjust the settings of your monitor with the dial than having to reach over behind it to find the button. And as you're working, you can quickly adjust the settings on the fly, which makes it very, very useful. So the Puck is actually a very cool feature. The PD3220U monitor comes with three displayed modes designed to help you deliver professional results. You can quickly switch between them using the Puck. These modes are the darkroom mode, the animation mode, and finally the CAD CAM mode. To be frank with you, I haven't incorporated these modes into my workflow. It doesn't mean that they're bad or that they don't work. They're just simply not something that adds a lot of value to the type of work that I produce. Now, before we finish the review, I wanna tell you a couple things that I didn't like about the monitor and also things that are missing that I wish were there. So first of all, the refresh rate. If you're into gaming, this is probably not the monitor for you. The refresh rate is actually quite low for a monitor of this price. However, this monitor is intended for accuracy, not speed. So you are getting the accuracy, but we're sacrificing a little bit of the speed that gamers will probably need. So you will have to make a decision if you're a gamer. Do you want to spend the money on the quality for the design and sacrifice the gaming speed? That's up to you to decide. But I just wanted to warn you that the refresh rate is not as high as it could be. And another thing that I wanted to point out is that the speakers are mediocre. You're definitely not going to be impressed by them. Clearly, BenQ was thinking more about color accuracy than sound when designing this monitor. So keep that in mind. And to be quite frank with you here, I'm just nitpicking. There's not a whole lot I don't like about the monitor. The PD3220U monitor is quite good. However, there's some things missing that I wish were included. So why don't we talk about those next? First thing that I feel that is missing from this monitor is the ability to attach a shading hood, which is is odd because BenQ does offer that ability in other professional grade monitors but as far as I know you cannot attach a shading hood to this monitor. Number two is a dedicated built-in memory card reader. It just makes it easier for me to upload my photos into my computer if I can just directly plug them into the monitor here on the side but unfortunately I cannot do that with this monitor. I can attach an SD card reader via USB into it but that just adds a little more clutter into my desk so uh, I don't necessarily like that. Number three is this monitor can be a little heavy, so it would have been nice to have maybe a carrying handle behind it so I could move it around. So that's one thing that would be great to add in maybe a future release. And number four, for some reason, BenQ has been notably silent on its Adobe RGB performance. I did a little research, and from various websites, I was able to see that it can perform... I did a little research and from various websites, I saw that this monitor can handle about 95% Adobe RGB, which is good, but at the same time, I'm not really sure why BenQ didn't advertise it anywhere, so I wish they would have been a little bit more clear about that on their website or at the very least in the literature that came within the monitor. But that's just one other small thing that I wish that would have been included. Now let's talk about something that could be considered a downside, the price. On Amazon, the BenQ PD3220U currently goes for about $1,200, which is more expensive than your typical consumer monitor. But again, this is a professional monitor designed for creatives. I just went through some of the best features, and to me, this is actually a really good value, especially if you compare it to something like Apple's Pro Display XDR, which costs three times more, and you still have to buy a $1,000 stand. To be fair, the XDR has higher resolution, it is 6K instead of 4K, it has a higher pixel density, and it is a brighter monitor with better contrast ratio. But it starts at $5,000, and that's without the $1,000 stand that you probably will need. For creatives who don't need 6K resolution or don't have that kind of budget, the BenQ PD32U is a fantastic alternative, which also offers some tremendous professional features that the XDR does not have. I have been really impressed with this monitor. I've really enjoyed using it. I've been using it for about five months now, and it has become my primary monitor. I don't intend to switch to anything else anytime soon. If you want a monitor that gives you professional results, that works great with Photoshop, then this is a monitor that I would recommend. To find out more about it, check out the Amazon link down below in the description. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this monitor and if you're planning on getting one. 
Thank you so much for checking out this review. If this is your first time at the Photoshop training channel, then don't forget to click on that subscribe and notification button so that you don't miss any new Photoshop tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again in the next video.